time you woke up this early to go ride. Shit, I have no idea. Yeah, neither do I, man. I can't even tell you. We made it, dude. We made it to the fucking spot. Yeah, how'd you get in there, bro? You know, uh, the gate was open, so I walked right through. Word, 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 word. You guys might remember this spot from a video that we filmed on Billy's channel. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been here since that video. We kind of got ourselves into a little situation, which I'll insert the picture here. I don't really want to go into details, but I've been trying to come here for like the past two months, and every time I bring up the idea to Billy and Augie, they both shut it down. So today we got a special guest. We got Stefan Fung. You guys might remember him from the Game of Bike video. If you haven't watched that, you better go check it out because it was it was savage. It is like 8:30 right now. The game plan for today is to ride here as long as we possibly can. Then we'll probably make our rounds around Brooklyn and try and hit as many spots as possible. But before we do anything, let's just give you guys a tour of this playground because it's like a it's like a BMX dream world. It's insane. Like this is a training ground for BMX street rides. You know, you got the foam pit box jumps. You got these rails behind me. You got these ledges. You even got rails. It's insane. So let's check it out. So as you guys see, we got these wooden ledges. Stefan with the nice first try nolly bar. You could jump from ledge to ledge to ledge to ledge to ledge to ledge to ledge. You could do whatever you please. Over here, we got the rail. You can jump on the ledge, hit the rail. It's like about fork height once you're on the ledge. So right here, we have the A-frame with the A-frame rail. I don't know if we'll be jumping on this today because we're not as savage as Sean Riccani. You gonna jump on it? I'm not jumping on it. Then I guess you could say you got the box jump and hip. You could hit it going this way and over, or you could air it from this way and into this side of the bank. Does he got it first try? Let's see. Ah! First tee, baby. It is time to get involved. We're gonna get the GoPro on myself, but not only myself, we're gonna get it on Stefan as well because we got two GoPros today. Do this. Let's do it. Hit the freaking gas, man. Get it. Woo! I must just hit the camera. I almost just died, dude. Holy shit, that was so scary. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. That was a good one, dude. Oh, sick. I really almost took myself out on that first one. That was so sketchy. I, all I could think about when I was going up the ramp is like, am I going to do it? Am I not going to do it? I just had so much speed and when I took off, I kind of like started spinning and I took my foot off. Next thing I was thinking is, am I going to roll my ankle right now? And that was just like, dude, that was sketchy. Right here we got like a foam ledge. Safan said he wanted to try some. What are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, bonk nose 180. Bonk nose 180. So. 
So you're just gonna like bonk up this like slant bank, nose across the ledge, 180. You're gonna come from this way? Yeah. All right, let's get it right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Me out over here. My bad, bro. <laughs> Are you good, bro? <laughs> you just got the ejecto cedo. Ejecto cedo, cuz! Stefan is using this leaf as his marker so he knows where to bump jump up and knows. Because as you guys can see, he just keeps getting the ejecto. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It is blazing out here. The shirt's coming off, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if my camera fries. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last video that I dropped, I told you guys how I have really sweaty hands. On days like today, when it's super humid, it gets like to the point where it's, it's too much and you can't even do a bar spin. So if you're someone like me that has sweaty hands, baby powder will do the trick. Right here, we got like this little box jump set up. It's way harder to ride than it looks. You know, this, this playground material like sinks you in and it could either pop you out or just totally give you an anti-hop. So me and Safan, we're gonna try and get some tricks over it. Don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> you guys just seen it, the, the pop, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, that was crazy, bro. Pull a bar. Yeah. Dude, Bro, you're close. <laughs> How close were you? I was. Your front, your back wheel was right here. Whoa! Yeah. Holy shit, that felt amazing. It literally felt like. A box jump that was built by BMX riders. When's the last time you did a double bar? Two years ago. <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> Myself and Safan are gonna try a double bar out of the bank. We've been cruising this thing for a while now, just jumping it like a box jump and flowing. We kind of got the hang of it, so we know what's gonna happen. It's and gonna happen. he's gonna do it right here, first try. I got you. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling. <laughs> Take a seat. Right here. <laughs> Yo, the swag catch. The swag. Safe to say that we both have not done a double bar in so long. He just got it done. It's my turn now. It's right here. No one knows how serious the freaking hand sweat game is, dude. Panzer gets it the worst. Maybe double bar to manual to bar? Maybe. Manual switch bar? Maybe. Oh! Oh! Sorry. Oh Sorry. my Sorry. god. <laughs> Good one. Hell yeah, oh, thank yeah. you. You got one? Uh -uh. Ball. Ball sack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crazy legs. Crazy oh, legs. Bro, you love just taking seats, man. There you go. Hey, we'll just keep that. Yo, please tell me what's going on right now, please. Jeez. Don't talk to me. Every switch whip I get. You got the switch whip dialed, that's for sure. 
I suck her out of every hop. And after about 40 switch whip attempts, 10 pussy hops, Stefan landed it. comes to the switch bar which kind of says the easiest part I can't do it I'm like killing myself not taking a break it's like 200 degrees out here we got no water it's a drought it's New York and I feel like I'm in Arizona <laughs> my man has been sipping out of the Arizona can that we drank two hours ago trying to get any little drip <laughs> drop he could can't stress how important it is to stay hydrated in these situations it feels like hundred degrees it's probably like a hundred percent humidity I've got like one trick I want to do before we dip out of here. I'm going to give it a few goes. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It is so hot. I'm parched. We have no drinks at all. We had like one Arizona can that we finished like two hours ago. I'm dying. It's, it's literally 11 o'clock and I'm dying. It is so hard to just pedal straight up this, especially with the wind coming at me and then trying to get over that A-frame to do the trick. Woo, you guys have no idea. This foam, you just like dig in. So this is probably gonna be the last trick on this box jump fly, whatever you want to call it for the day. It is so hot and we are parched. We need to get beverages ASAP. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to send it. This is not happening. I am literally killing myself and it is so hot. I was trying to end off the session here at this spot with the three whip. I'm sorry, I'm letting you guys down, but I, I just I just can't do it. It is way too hot. I am so over this place. I think if I would have kept going on that three whip, I probably would have fainted. I'm so parched. I haven't had a drink in over an hour and I've just been going non-stop, non-stop. But just in case the police are still watching the videos, I was not lying when I said the gate was open and that's how we got in. So if you're that guy that gave me, Austin, and Billy the ticket, this is how we got in. What's next? Food. Food. How to make a mandatory stop at 7-Eleven. We got like three Gatorades and a water also. Can't forget the gummies. Gummies are always necessary. My car for the past week has smelled terrible, but I do have this cold air freshener that's gonna hopefully take away that smell. You guys can get these air fresheners by clicking the link in the description. It smells so good. All right, so as myself and Safan were driving to Fort Greene, I don't know if you guys could see it, but we spotted this perfect trailer. It's not too often that you see trailers on the weekend, so you know it's a must hit. Get us fun. Right through the middle. We already got it, bro. We're good.
You right? Cut off the window to make you sure. Yeah? You want to go home? Yeah. All right. You got an Advil in the yeah. Altoids box. Well, the green ones are the Advil. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I feel like I almost broke my leg. I couldn't get away from it. It's gonna hurt tomorrow. <sighs> oh shit! I can't walk. All right. Let me let me get you on my arms and then we'll go to the car. Turns out that uh, took a pretty bad fall today. Ended up being that I actually fractured my hip, and um, I'm gonna be out for about five to six weeks. A muscle from my hip that connects to my rear end ended up ripping the bone out of its place, and uh, that's what caused that excruciating pain. Thanks to Panza for taking me to the hospital and being so calm about everything. Great session today. I'll be back on my bike soon.